What is going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. So today we're back with the 2017 Tesla Model X and we got a new mod for you. So today we're going to be installing a yoke just like what we did on the 2017 Tesla Model S. So we're going to be working again with uh, Pimp My EV. So if you come over here, we'll show you what we got. Box comes with a nice cloth that's engraved Pimp My EV. It's a really nice, good material. Got that. And the yoke itself. So really nice um, little pouch that it comes in with a nice logo in here. Open this up. So again, Pet My V offers these in multiple different variations. You can do stitching, different colors. You can do fiber, uh, carbon fiber. You can do different colors. You can do uh, different shapes. You can do more squared rounds. So lots of different options. You can fully customize these. So this is this is gonna look really nice. Um, also comes with the healing a heating element for the heating steering wheel, uh, or I guess yoke. Um, but it should be very easy. Plug and play. Re remove the old airbag. Um, take out the old steering wheel, pop in the new one, just one bolt. Uh, yeah, and you got the Allen wrench, so we'll, we'll use a torque wrench or a torque breaker bar uh, to remove that bolt. So, so, so yeah, so before we install it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna de-energize the battery. We're gonna drop the two windows. Um, we're gonna open up the doors just cause it's all automatic. And uh, we'll go ahead and start remove the steering wheel, the airbag. I just don't wanna mess with any power with the airbag in case something happens and deploys. Don't want that to happen, but um, should be a very straightforward task. This should take probably no more than 20 minutes. We're gonna remove this panel right here. It's just all in clips, so you're just gonna pull it. Put this aside. I'm gonna drop this one, this one. I'm gonna leave the doors open as well. All right, one more thing worth mentioning is you wanna make sure that the steering wheel is perfectly straight. That when you put the new one in, um, you don't have to try to adjust and line it what's straight, what's not, so that when you pop that yoke in, you have a perfectly straight steering wheel. So it looks like it's perfectly straight, so we're good. Uh, both windows are open, doors are open. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the emergency loop, pop this guy out, and then there's a bolt right here. If you look over here, there's your negative right there. I believe it's 10 millimeter. All right guys, so everything's disconnected. One thing I'm gonna mention that I did a mistake on is I disconnected the safety loop first. I got a bunch of errors, a bunch of code errors. Um, hopefully that'll all reset when I start, when I plug everything in. But yeah, so do the negative first, the 13 mil bolt, and then do the safety loop. And then uh, good practice is to wait two minutes, let it complete dinner, de-energize, and then we should be good to go to start uh, removing the airbag. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, we have two Allen wrench screws underneath the steering wheel. We'll use a, uh, this is a 5.30 seconds, and we'll just unscrew those two. So this could be a little challenging, but shouldn't be too bad. Okay, and then there's one more. So I got the two screws out. They're not fully out, but they're just unspinned. I think I got all the threads. So now I just need to pry this uh, airbag and the buttons out. So I'm just gonna kind of gently start prying it. Okay, that side came out. Okay, and then the bottom two. It's all kind of like on clips. Okay, there you go. So this airbag and buttons, they have three connections total. So you have one for the heating element, you got one for the buttons, and then one for the airbag. So the yellow one is gonna be airbag. So I'm gonna disconnect that one first. Okay, okay, so there's the airbag connection, the yellow one, and then we have the one for the buttons. And same thing, you got these like two pins, you have to like squeeze, and then after that you just pull it. So there's that other connection. And the last one is the heating element. Oh, there you go, okay. Okay, and there's the heating element. Okay, so there you go. So you got the airbag, you got the buttons, three connectors, so that's kind of what it looks like. So we'll save this. This is gonna, we're gonna reuse this part. And then here's your steering wheel. All right, so just for comparison, so you got the yoke right here. So diameter is pretty much the same. Put it like this. That looks good. So, okay, so next thing is gonna take off. We're gonna take off this Allen wrench bolt. Uh, we're gonna use a breaker bar. 
and um, pop in the new one. I got the breaker bar, got that tool that they provided, and I'm gonna have my brother hold the steering wheel. I'm gonna start loosening this bolt. Okay, all right. That. And actually, if you look at the bolt, they have a little, uh, I guess, sharpie line that they put. We'll do the same thing. There's that bolt. There's the two screws. I'm gonna pop these two screws out. There you go. Got it. And then the last thing, just pop it out. Very easy. So, all right. So before I put the yoke in, I'm gonna put these two screws in or pop them in, just because it's kind of a hard reach over there in the back. So, and I noticed that these are kind of tight in here. So I'll have to like really force them in there. Oh, there you go. Okay. Got that one in. The element's just gonna, and there you go. And then popped out, perfect. Okay, all right. I'm gonna pop it in. That's it. That's pretty good. Good. Okay, okay. Cool, we got it in there. So now, okay, next thing we're gonna do is gonna put in this uh, Allen wrench bolt. I'm gonna just kinda hand tighten it first. Okay, we'll use the breaker bar and get this on hold it. Okay, there you go, nice and tight. Actually, it already feels really nice. I'm loving it so far. Okay, cool. So now let's put the the airbag with all the buttons. So connect all the connectors. So first thing I'm gonna connect the heating element. There's that guy. And then the buttons and the airbag. Of that wire. Yep, so we'll make sure that this is not being pinched. Everything's kind of tucked in. And just kind of, I'm gonna kind of do the bottom side first. Just cause this, is, this does not have a bolt. It only has the little rubber pins. Kind of got it engaged there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those two Allen wrench screws. All right, we got the Allen wrench. I'm gonna start tightening it. Cool guys, all right, the, both bolts are in. It's actually sitting real nice and tight. Everything's engaged. Perfect. I'm loving the feeling of it so far. Go ahead and connect the battery and um, test it out. Okay, so we're gonna do the safety loop and then we'll do the negative cable. There's that. Okay, cool. All done. Cool. So let's go back into the car. Take a look. All right, guys. So we got the car powered up, battery connected. So it took some time to reboot. So now you'll see with the Model X, you have to recalibrate your Falcon doors um, because whenever you disconnect the battery, so you just have to hold calibrate. I was gonna just gonna slightly open them and just close them. Cool. Calibration is done. No check engine lights or no, I guess, no air codes. Everything looks good. Yeah, so I have the heated steering wheel on and I'm feeling it right now. It feels actually nice and warm. So the heating element is working. Um, my scroll wheel here is working. Um, I mean, everything else is all original. I mean, guys, this feels really nice. feels really good in the hands. I have full visibility of this screen. I have the gauge cluster all here. I don't have to like look down or look up. Um, I can have my wheel adjusted however I need it or the yoke uh, feels really nice. So I guess let's go take it for a ride and see uh, how it feels. Okay. So far, I gotta say it feels really, really nice. Let's turn this off. Okay. Very nice. I'm liking it. I'll be honest guys, this is a must upgrade if you have a Tesla that's 2021 20, and older. I mean, just because of the vis visibility, I can see the whole thing. Um, it feels really nice. I mean, there's there's a good reason why Elon Musk decided to do the yoke. 
I love it. I think not just the look, the style, but just, you know, the just practical makes more sense, but I love it. Still pulls. Okay, let's try autopilot. We have autopilot working without issues. All right, guys, well, that'll be a wrap for this video. Um, so again, uh, this video was sponsored by Pimp My EV. Again, I'm super, super happy with the product. Um, their uh, customer service is great. They have so many different products. It's not just yokes. They have all kinds of customizations for Model S, Model X, uh, 3Y. Um, you know, like I said, you can get this yoke in different um, forms. You can get it more squared, more round. You can do different stitching, different colors. You can do different, uh, you can do white, you can do black. Um, you can do carbon fiber rounds. So different variations. It's honestly whatever you choose. Um, you can you know, also pick if you want to heat a steering wheel without. Um, so really happy with it. Um, very practical, looks really nice, slick. I love the design. Please look at our link uh, for a discount code. Use the code burning rubber to receive a discount um, and get your yoke today. Uh, the quality is amazing. I love just the feeling. It feels like it's OEM. It feels like a Tesla steering wheel. Um, but yeah, super happy. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.